the holiday season is in full swing and a big part of the fun is bringing a smile to a child's face Christmas morning. Most of us have such great memories of ripping open our gifts to find that special toy or favorite doll inside. Well, this year, why not go the extra step to create a wonderful memory for a child that has had so few. Franklin County Children's Services is once again in the midst of its holiday wish program, and with your help, they can make more than 5,000 wishes come true. So joining me now, we have Beth Crabtree, Director of Volunteers, and with Holiday Wish, of course, with FCCS, yes. and we have Pat Collins, who is the IT Director for American Electric Power. So welcome to you both today. Thank, Thank you, you for having us here. You know, Beth, this is, it's my pleasure to have you here because this program is so amazing and incredible, helps so many kids. So tell us, what is Holiday Wish all about? Holiday Wish is the agency gift giving program for Franklin County Children's Services. We ensure every child that's involved with Franklin County Children's Services receives a gift for their special holidays. For some of our kids, they get to select that toy that they really want. You know, we all have memories of that one toy that we wanted to receive for the holidays. And for older kids, they get gift cards, which for them is um, very empowering to be able to go to a store and pick out something that they want, an experience that a lot of them haven't had. And that is something that FCCS obviously has been doing for a while, this program. How long have you been doing it with them? Um, I've been over this program. This is my fourth year, but we it's our 51st year in operation. And to date, we have served 168,555 kids. Wow. That's a lot of wishes <laughs> granted, and that's a lot of lives changed. We've had parents come back who were kids with our agency who give gifts to our program because their lives were so touched as children, and they will bring their own children back to have them give to the Holiday Wish program in memory of what they experienced as a child because of the generosity of our community. And what has that been like watching that happen, just from a personal standpoint? I'm a former caseworker, so I was in the field for nine years, and for me to know that change can happen, we work with these families every day, and we want things to be better for their kids and we want things to be better for their families and to see that a small thing making sure a child feels remembered that they're not forgotten that they're special and that they're cherished they carry that on to adulthood and hopefully kind of change the cycle that they've been in so how can viewers get involved because they can sponsor a child correct they can we have 125 kids thus far um, who've selected a particular gift that they want that are still waiting for a donor to commit to buying that gift for them they also can donate online if they go to our online site and give us money to purchase either gifts or gift cards for our older children. We buy those in bulk, um, so we get a discount, which is great. Or they can bring us emergency gifts, and those are for our kids that come to our attention later on in the season. And what are some of the things you're looking for? You brought some with you. Some I of did. the big hot toys, right? I did, <laughs> and most of those hot toys are quickly going off the shelves. Um, we, The Frozen dolls are obviously a big hit this year, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are things that we're seeing a lot of requests for. We love the educational toys for our little ones, um, but also Legos are things that kids can play with over and over again and kind of work on some of their fine and gross motor skills. Okay, so you're adding a little bit of education in this Christmas, right? I can't right? help it, but <laughs> yes, but these are also fun things, and for a lot of our kids, this is the only new toy that they will get all year. Okay, so it's, it means a lot to them, of course. It means a lot. And um, we saw the picture of your sorting room, which had just some of the gifts that are in there, but you still have a long way to go, right? We do. It's the beginning of the season, and it's a shorter season this year. Um, and so because of that, it will be a last-minute scramble to make sure that we grant every wish, but we want to make sure that every kid who needs a gift this season is served. Okay. All right, Pat, let's ask you. I know that AEP is obviously involved with this. So what is the main reason? Why did you feel like AEP needed to be behind this? Well, a AEP employees have been given to uh, the toy drive for probably 20 some years. Um, we got very heavily involved in, in Franklin County Children's Services years ago. And uh, our employees continue to be involved in a lot of community activities. But this is, this is a big one at this time of year. And you have kind of a unique way that your employees give gifts, don't you? Yes, we do. We, uh, we actually have uh, a day, uh, which will be this week, um, where s many Santas dress up, elves dress up, <laughs> and we literally go from office to office in our 31-story high-rise and several other buildings, and we visit every single employee in Central Ohio that we can get to. We pass out candy canes, we collect donations, we collect toys, um, and it's a big day for us. And then we use that to fund toys and we uh, donate to Franklin County Children's Services. And does that do something for, obviously it does something for the child, for the employees involved? Yeah, the employees love doing it. They love volunteering. They spend a lot of their own personal time shopping, going out. We get lists from, these, from, from some of our agencies that we serve. We take those, we give them to employees, they go out and shop for us. So everybody gets a chance to participate as much as they would like. And uh, it, it, it really brings, a, you know, AEP as a, a community partner. 
Okay, Beth, what is the deadline? Because I know that's important. Obviously, Christmas is on the same day every year. Absolutely. <laughs> it's the 25th. It's never a surprise. Um, well, so there are a couple deadlines. At first, if people want to give back and also enjoy some good food today, they can go to Raising Cane's and get on our website and download a... Um, a flyer and we get a, pro a little bit of their proceeds um, today. They also, if they want to bring us emergency gifts, we ask for those by December 12th. That makes sure that the caseworker can get them out to the home on time. We will take gifts up until the 24th um, because we do have kids that will come in Christmas Eve that will need gifts for the holidays. All right, I want to thank you both so much for what you're doing and for being here with us today. Absolutely, thank you thank for having you. us Thanks on. Thanks for having us. My pleasure.